transformers more than meets the eye. Autobots cleans their pedal to destroy the evil forces of... Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us. For this special figure showcase, we're going to look at the 2013 Botcon Hotlink figure. So, what we're going to do with this video, we're going to have a detailed look at him in both of his modes to help you decide how you want to display him. We'll have a look at the accessories that come with him to help you know if yours is complete. We'll have a look at other figures that have used the same mould. And then, of course, we'll have a look at other Hotlink figures that have been released as well. So quite a bit to get through. Right, let's get started. So as I mentioned, he came out in 2013. He was a BotCon exclusive and limited to 2,500 pieces. He came as part of a pack with the other two Rainmakers, Bitstream and Sunstorm. And he looks brilliant. And yes, he is just a straight up redeco of the classic Starscream mold, which we'll look at again in a bit more detail in a second. But again, he looks really good. He's got these huge missile launchers on the side of his shoulders which does in fact restrict a little bit of his arm movement otherwise you've got full as you can see this part does fold out but that is mainly for transformation but otherwise you can see the shoulders you've got quite a lot of articulation same as in the wrist to be honest even though that is just for transformation purposes hips will swing up and down feet will just tilt up and down as well there's no real ankle movement again it's quite an old figure and but it looks really good and the best thing about this figure is that it you may not recognize him i can't believe it took so long for them to release him he was literally in the very very first episode so the very first cartoon there he is with sunstorm and thundercracker and that flamethrower he's firing there is actually that made the circle around wheeljack again in the very very first episode so for those of you who want to read stuff about him here is his technical card and i'm not going to read this all out to you right now if you want to pause it you can have a bit of a read through that yourself again and let's have a look at the accessories then so these of course have got the large projecting firing missiles and that's because of course due to health and safety standards all of the missiles and all the projectiles had to be huge now you can also as well because of the five millimeter post there you can put it in his hand and he can carry it like a gun as well it's up to you um, but i think they display slightly better with them on his shoulders even though it does restrict the movement but if you're just going to be displaying him it looks far better i think like this he says trying to take it out there we go pop it back on his shoulders right while he's in robot mode then let's have a quick look at the original mold then so this was of course starscream from the classics toy line and again you can see he's pretty much exactly the same only with this i've put the missile launchers in his hands let's just move him over and then of course this is quite a new figure this is only a couple of years old this is hot link from the war for cybertron trilogy and again it's got that lovely purple color scheme with him there we go then that's a quick look at him in robot mode so let's have a look at him now in his alternate mode okay guys so here he is in his alternate mode quick apologies for not doing the transformation on camera that will be in a separate video it's just mainly to keep the length of the video down here is the fantastic alternate mode um i just love seeker jets i think most people do to be fair i know they reuse the molds over and over again but you just can't beat a decent seeker so everything sort of clipped into place as you can see the cockpit there lovely translucent yellowy even a borderline green to be honest the arms are all tucked in under there and then you've got a choice so we're going to pop these underneath of course like so and this one as well this is just going to fit in there like that now the alternate mode is it's an f-15 eagle but it's got the nose of an f-14 tomcat fighter and again you can still fire the missiles and i think the problem with seekers is they just look so good in either mode there he is in that one so perfect what we're going to do then come back for the final time in robot mode and set him up in a display with some more seekers right then back for the final time in the robot mode this is the way i've got to choose to display him so i think it's only right to finish this video off to have him displayed with the rest of the original rainmakers and we have of course got them here we've got sunstorm and bitstream i'm just going to put these next to him in a decent enough pose and there we go love the color scheme love the fact that they all look very very good together there they are guys the 2013 
Otcon exclusive Rainmaker set. Hope you enjoyed looking at them. Keep your ideas and suggestions coming forward. And of course, please take care. Thanks for watching. Like and comment. And don't forget to subscribe.